Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing my sunglasses collection with you guys. Um, I just love sunglasses. I always have. They're just like the perfect accessory to any outfit and they're really just a necessity and um, I'm obsessed. I literally can't stop buying them. I don't know how many pairs I have but I have way too many so um, I'm going to share all of them with you guys but first I want to um, give a shout out to Pinch Me for sponsoring this video today so like what Pinch Me is is basically they send you a personal well, it's not really personalized but they send you a like random box of samples and goodies so that you can review them and it's completely free and then um, they send it out every single month and then all you have to do is review it and then you get more products and it's totally just like a random assortment of things like we have a native deodorant and i've used this before and it's amazing what else we have like aquaphor spray we have Clorox wipes, Neutrogena makeup remover wipes, we have Compede Advanced Blister Care, fuck blisters, $50 gift card to HelloFresh, we got a band-aid stamp sample, and then we got cookie squares, milk chocolate, and melty caramel. So that's really cool. I definitely recommend signing up. Before they reached out to me, I did get the Pinch Me's um, every single month. So I have been using this service for a while and I really do enjoy it. I love just having random samples of things like just in case I run out and they usually have coupons in there too, which are always good. Like. So yeah. this is what I keep most of my sunglasses on. It's this like really big um, plastic thing. It's meant to hold um, nail polishes, but my sister said she saw this on Pinterest and she got me this like little plastic thing for my birthday. And it works really great for sunglasses unless you have like 500 million like me and um, it doesn't hold them all but I have most I mostly have cases for the ones that don't fit on here so it's not that big of a deal so the first pair I have to share with you guys are these vintage tortoise um, Gucci sunglasses I really love these they have kind of like a greenish bluish tint in the frame or in the lens and they're just really freaking cute The next pair I have to share with you guys are these um, late 80s, early 90s Gianni Versace sunglasses. <coughs> I like did a dab this morning and my throat really never recovered. But these are really cool because they have the um, like Versace like Medusa head and they are Gianni Versace so they were made before he died and a fun fact about these sunglasses is that they actually reissued this frame so you can still get these from sunglasses hut but they're not the vintage ones obviously but um i think that's really cool that a lot of brands are reissuing some of their vintage sunglasses i know that gucci's doing the same thing as well The next pair are totally like an OG if you have followed me for a while or I don't know just have been alive for a while then you know about these key China doll sunglasses these were like everyone's favorite fucking sunglasses in like 2016 they are just really cute big mirrored cat eye lenses So the next pair I have are these like, I think they might be men's sunglasses, honestly. They're by this brand Sabre, S-A-B-R-E, I don't know. They're the Heartbreaker style and they are just a black frame with a gold lens. And I really got these 
I got these when I worked at Urban Outfitters and um, I got them because they were like two dollars or something really dumb like that and they are like polarized and I don't have like any polarized sunglasses so I thought these would be good if I ever like went to the lake or anything which I don't so I've literally like never worn these outside These sunglasses someone actually purchased for me off of my Amazon wish list literally so long ago, probably like five or six years ago. And they're like the brocade like Prada knockoffs, and they're just little toss around sunglasses. They're really cute and they're really big, and I like the shape. And yeah, they're just cute little cheapy cheap sunglasses. These are just like classic little black round sunglasses. They have little silver thingies on the side. And I'm pretty sure I just found these like at a random Goodwill and I really like the shape. They're kind of ugly, kind of cute. That's my ideal sunglass. And I thought they were just cute little fashion sunglasses. They look cute on top of my head. I mean, that's like, I always test sunglasses that way. And I'm like, if they don't look cute on top of my head, like, I don't want them. So I got these little white cat eye looking sunglasses from Urban Outfitters when I still worked there like a long time ago. And they were like $2, dollars one ninety seven, something like super ridiculously cheap. So I coughed. They are like a little bit big on my head, which is why I really don't wear them like at all. But um, I had to buy them for like $2, so I did. These would be nice, I should wear these more because um, it's summertime and I don't want my those like indents for my sunglasses on my head. So these sunglasses are from this brand called Kimono and I pr I'm pretty sure that these are polarized as well and they're just like a really cute shape. They actually don't say if they're polarized. Um, so I think they just have a green tinted lens. But um, these are called the Lulu and they are a cute tortoise shell. It's kind of hard to tell that they're tortoise shell, but what can you do? These cute little basic cat eye lenses I actually got for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So always look at the Dollar Tree for some cute sunnies. Funny story about these, they are missing an arm, but it's in, it's in my house somewhere. And I just loved these sunglasses so much. I could literally not throw them away. I don't know why they are just, I just love them so much. Let's all pretend that there's an arm right here and um, they're in perfect working order and let's just pretend. I have these really cool Lispex sunglasses. They're like a circle with like a house shape on the inside and these are really cool. They have the reflective lens. Their lens is also like green which is pretty cool too. And um, I just really like these. I think I got these at last chance for like 10 or $15. So these are actually a pair of my glasses, but um, these were a pair of, whoo, I'm like double vision right now. So these were a pair of Betsy Johnson sunglasses that I took to my eye doctor and had them switch the frames out. This is making me so dizzy. They're so cute and um, I can't open my eyes. Doing this video is literally giving me the chance to dust all my sunglasses because some of them were so dirty. And I hate that this is happening. I wish I had more flowers that I could put as my backdrop, but you know, it can't always be my way. I got these little like laser cut rimless glasses from ebay i think they were like five ten dollars and i got these when these were like super cool and super trendy but now i don't think they're so cool and so trendy anymore but um, i'm glad i didn't pay like a lot of money for these and i just got them on ebay 
because I really only think I wore them once or twice and um, I never reach for them anymore so so these sunglasses are really cute they're I think my only pair of sunglasses that are like this mauve purpley color I think really my only purpley sunglasses in general but um, they're Jason Wu and they have like the cut cat eye and these are just I don't know they're just really cute and I love them the next two pairs that I have to share with you guys are the exact same sunglasses just in different colors I used to have three of these exact sunglasses but I sold the black ones because I was like, okay, this is a little excessive. I have these. They are the Unif Moody sunglasses. And they are just a really big cat eye plastic frame. They have the little Unif OG triangle on the back. These are just like it's such a classic and they just remind me of when I was in high school or like just graduated so I'll probably keep these sunglasses like until I die but um, I just love the alien aesthetic that it gives me. So these are just some really basic sunglasses I got from Buffalo Exchange. They're not very practical because they have the yellow lens, so they don't do much. And I feel awkward wearing sunglasses indoors. I'm like, is this appropriate to wear inside? I have no idea. Okay, same with these ones. Am I allowed to wear these indoors? I don't know. Can I wear them like this? Should I wear them like this? Like... I got these for $3 at last chance. This very classic style, like, eyebrow bar sunglass that was popular like a year or two ago these got sent to me by this like random sunglass site um i totally forgot what site it was but i don't know these weren't really my style these are definitely one of my favorite sunglasses in my collection they are the specs i got them at um buffalo exchange I think they were kind of ridiculously expensive, like $60 or something, but I have a bathing suit that matches this perfectly, so I had to cop, and they had the case, so I was like, whatever, and I think they retailed like $128, so I at least got half off, but um, I love these, I love how like small and ridiculous they are. So that was all the sunglasses that were on my little stand and I have a couple more to share with you guys that are like the good good ones where I keep them in their little cases. What is that thing? Like, I don't, that dance, I don't know. So these are a pair of Gucci sunglasses tortoiseshell. I know that these I like almost the same as these but these ones are smaller and these ones are bigger and they are just really freaking cute I got them for like 70 bucks and um, I'm just obsessed with them I've been so obsessed with like tortoise and cheetah print lately and I just had to have them I love the like brown lens because these ones have a green lens that's how I kind of justified it they're not the same they're a little bit different Next, I have these really cute sparkly Kate Spade cat eyes with the black rhinestones and these are just a really cute pair of classic sunglasses. They're just so cute. Next, I have another pair of Gucci's. These ones are vintage as well. I like just got these probably like last week. And they are the like 90s Gucci logo with the like stretched out G and these are my matrix sunglasses they're so small they are so cute they don't protect my eyes from the Arizona heat but that's okay because I fucking love them I almost forgot my daily sunglasses these are just like my regular throw on go to work toss in my purse sunglasses these ones are keys I feel like the, these ones are better quality than the china doll ones because they are really heavy and they have held up great and they are just so cute 
I usually will keep two pairs in my car, one in my purse, and then the rest are at home just in case I need a sunglasses switch. One time I had four pairs of sunglasses in my purse. So these last two pairs of sunglasses are probably the best sunglasses that I have. These are my fucking babies. Like these are my fucking children. Like I would die for these sunglasses. So first up, these are my Dior's and Rihanna collab sunglasses. And they are, you know how special these are to me? I've only worn them out one time and I always bring the case with me and I never throw them in my purse because they are fucking brand new and fucking perfect. They are purple and they're super futuristic. Like, they're so iconic. I think I paid, these like retail like something crazy like a thousand dollars and I think I paid like a hundred and something for them um, I just love them okay they are going back in their special box safe and sound last but not least are my fucking pride and joys my most prized possession these are my Gucci, like, embellished star rhinestone glasses. They got the rhinestones on the back and on the front. And they are just like an oversized, iconic, fucking screaming in your face Gucci sunglass. These um, are still on the Gucci website if you would want to purchase. Purchasey. I will leave the description. I'll leave a link to the description in the description of any of these sunglasses that are still available just in case you guys want to cop. But these were a amazing birthday present from um, my uncle and my cousins. So shout out to them. Thank you for completing my life. But um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my crazy collection of sunglasses and um if you guys collect anything please let me know like what's the craziest pair of sunglasses you have in your closet which ones are your holy grail pride and joy babies do you even care about sunglasses like i do because i love i fucking love sunglasses fucking love them but um make sure to like and subscribe this video like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos um thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video i don't know what i'm doing goodbye